Hello, and thank you for calling in to No Sound Bites Allowed. I'm your host, Michael, and can I ask, what's your first name? Hey, Mike, it's me, John. Hey, John, what's going on? Not much, Mike, not much. Um, just called into the show. There's a topic that's going on. It, it just kind of broke today, and I wanted to discuss it. Sure. Kind of. It, it, it's out of your wheelhouse, but I think it ties in a lot. Okay. There's not a lot. Okay. There's not a lot that's not in my wheelhouse, so this will be interesting. Well, I, it, it's really it, it's kind of a newer thing. So I don't know if you've n- heard about the big thing going on right now between social media people, YouTubers, and it, that's the influencer boxing. Influencer boxing? No. Have you heard about this? No. So what a lot of these big YouTubers, the TikTokers, and influencers are doing right now is they've decided to pick up boxing, right? So a lot of them do put on big boxing events, and they do it for charity. And if they have issues with another content creator or something like that, they actually train for about six to seven months, nine months even, and they get into the ring and they actually box each other. Okay. Okay. And they raise a lot of money for charity. So cool. The big, all right. The, it, pretty simple. It's a bit different, right? Um, but it, it's really big, and people pay to watch this big pay per view matches. Okay. And there's been some drama, and it, it it reminds me a lot. This generation, it seems like, doesn't understand consequences for their actions of course not there are no consequences well they're being told there are no consequences you have a school Mm -hmm. loan the government will pay for it you can't go to work because we lock down everything the government will pay for it you get a prize for coming in last place yeah Mm -hmm. they don't there are no consequences so the big thing and this is what reminded me of that there is a big match was supposed to take place uh, in a couple weeks, I believe it is, and that's called Creator Clash, and it's one of the biggest boxing, if not the biggest, kind of social media influencer boxing events. Oh, so you get okay. a ton of YouTubers, very big names doing commentary, and it's put on by a guy named iDubs, who's a big content creator on YouTube. Oh, okay. All right, and iDubs used to be a very much edgy content creator a couple years ago and really try to clean up his act. And his girlfriend does OnlyFans, right? And she's participating in the event. Okay. And basically, one of the other boxers was joking about that leading up into the event, trying to hype it up, joking around about it. And basically, instead of you know, being like, oh, this is a joke. Oh, you know, or anything like that. They straight up, after nine months, kicked him out of the event. Why? They said, because they got offended. And instead of saying, oh, this comes along with the territory, I'm doing something that socially, you know, maybe not the most, do whatever you want, but you got called out for it. And then they didn't like what he was saying on Twitter. So after nine months of training, he's kicked out. They said, you're not boxing anymore. Well, see, one, let me, let me start off with, I don't care. Two, sure. that's just me. But, no. but I think the thing that does or would affect me is they're kicking him out for the same reason that they're talking about, CNN is talking about digital blackface. Yeah, because it's stupid, because it's all about identity politics. It's the same reason that we're talking about. And I was just talking about uh, Kalisa Wing and the mm-hmm. fact that she can't be fired by the DOD, even though we know for a fact that she's breaking the law. The thing that upsets me is this is all about fake racism. This is about yeah. fake sex- sexism. Everything that if you don't like, if a progressive doesn't like it, it must be illegal. It must be a crime. And they're trying to convince our kids that that's true. And that's mm. the problem I have with it. Sure. 
I, I think there's a hypocrisy with it too, right? I, this woman who got so offended and decided to kick this guy off, you know, her boyfriend has said way ten times more offensive stuff than anything he ever said. And instead of being like, you know what, I do this, I own it, uh, you know, instead of this guy potentially raising way more money for charity because he's got a huge base, saying, you know what, I'm mad at you, I'm offended by what you said, you're off the card. That, you know, it it seems but ridiculous. It's, again, it's feelings. Oh, sure. it, a bunch of boxers hurt their feelings, and so that's, you can't box now. Could you imagine Muhammad Ali in any of his fights? And they're like, oh, my God, you hurt my feelings. He's a heavyweight boxer. Who cares what he says? You know what? You're pissed off. Get in the ring and punch him in the face. Isn't that the whole point? It's so crazy to me. You're right. Because this is supposed to also be, they keep saying, well, this is for charity. This is for charity. Yeah, it's for charity. But also... This is something she does. It, this was never in any contracts or anything that you can't say this, right? There has to be some consequences. If you're going to talk smack or someone is going to talk smack on your behalf, it, 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 someone's going to say something back, and it's a boxing match, for God's sakes. It's not like... Uh, it, it's not a tea party or anything, you know? It, it seems like people are so eager for attention especially this generation with the TikTok and social media, but all of a sudden they don't want that backlash or anything negative. It almost seems like they want everyone to praise them for everything they're doing. You know, but it, it, but it is that it, it, it is. They're snowflakes. They're so damn yeah. precious that even going into a boxing match, they can't say, say something that's upsetting. Come on. It, it, what the hell? I don't even understand it. I don't. No, it, it, it's and that's kind of what it reminded me of. Because right now, this is kind of blowing up the internet. People are really mad. People are, even some of the people they've hired for commentary for the match. Really? I some can't. big YouTubers have spoken out and said, this is kind of really dumb. Um, but it, it, it kind of goes deeper with our culture, right? It just goes to show people are getting... Oh, just, here it is. I, I think I found it. It is, trust me, I know nothing about this, folks. It is Froggy Fresh. Yes. Which is one of the most stupid names I've ever heard in my life. Okay. This is something that a six-year-old calls themselves. Froggy Fresh pulled cr- pulled from Creator Clash 2 after, quote, recent behavior. Came out today at six uh, six in the morning. So he's no longer in there. Uh, weeks before the event. I'm looking for actually anything that's of any use. You're going to find maybe one video he posted online talking about her, the girl, the, you know, the head guy's girlfriend's only fans. That's it. Okay, here it is. And here's the comment. Creator Clash's goal is to make an inclusive and fun environment for creators and fans while giving back to charity. That has always been our mission and Froggy Fresh's recent behavior does not align with that mission of punching someone in the face. We are looking forward to this positive experience on April 15th so you can watch people get punched in the face. This is what they're talking about? Yes. This is is the thing that they're really... They, I, I am way too old for this crap. It, it goes to show you, what, <laughs> <laughs> right? But it's blowing up. It's a big thing. But at the same time, like I said, people are mad. People are talking about it because it just goes to the example of what's going on in our culture. Well, it's highlighting a bigger issue. Well, be, between Froggy Fresh, oh my God, and and boxing, um. Between that and digital blackface, I have learned two things today that have literally dropped the sum knowledge of the universe. Literally, we have retracted knowledge from the universe and dropped it down a black hole. 
This is so absolutely useless. It is definitely meant to distract the public from things that are important, like what's happening in Syria, like what's happening in Ghana, like what's happening in the Ukraine, uh, what's happening with the United States, energy independence, Denver shooting, and the fact that defunding the police was ineffective and actually hurt the people in that school, that gun control completely failed. But instead of talking about those things, we have CNN on the job to tell us about digital blackface, and we've got a bunch of creators that are trying to protect our feelings so that we can watch people get punched in the face with all happiness. We can feel confident and good that someone just got punched in the face for charity, not because they're a bad person. Are we serious? Really? Yeah. It's it's so insanity, right? It's just so insane that this is where we are. And the fact, like, like you said, it's supposed to be some. It's supposed to be a distraction, right? It's fun, but all of a sudden they're making a big deal out of the littlest things that had nothing to do with the event. You know what? Now I want to see fro- Now I want to see Froggy Fresh. I, I really can't get past that name. That's so stupid. Uh, I want to see Froggy Fresh punch the person who, whoever it was that said, you can't be here, I want to see him punch them in the face. If anything, that actually gives me some interest. Yeah, I want you to punch out, punch the social justice warrior that put this thing together. Punch them in the face. I want to see that. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of drama last year because with this event, because they wouldn't allow one of the right-wing comedians who trained one of those boxers at the event. So this guy's really built. He's a buff guy. He does boxing. He trained one of the fighters okay. who went at the event last year, and they blocked him from the event. Why? Because he's offensive. So? They, he couldn't even attend the event, Mike. That's on his time. He can do whatever he wants. He, did he pay? Did he pay to walk in the door he paid like everyone more than else? A, a two grand, if I remember correctly. He then paid a lot of mo- money. It's for charity. Let him walk in. Yeah. But the, instead of taking the money for charity, you know, they decided, well, he's done things we don't like in the past. We have personal issues with then him. Then don't give him a microphone. Don't put the camera on his face. Take the money. Let him sit down and have yeah. the event. I don't understand the, this. This is the ultimate example of virtue signaling, right? You say it's for charity, but when push comes to some and people say, hey, I want to show up, you know, two grand. I paid, you know, he paid for his tickets. He paid for the best tickets he could. And they say, nope, we're not going to do it because it, clearly it, it has nothing to do with the charity. It's all about egos. And that kind of, it's almost like Hollywood in a lot well, of ways, right? Well, wait a minute. We, Isn't, that is the current... Uh, uh, what do you want to call it? A uh, 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 social justice movement. It's all about ego. Yeah. You get. You have to do what they say. You have to make them feel better about their lives. You have to submit to all of their ideas. It's all about mm-hmm. their egos. It has nothing to do with anything else. Social justice is an ego trip. Yeah, it, you're absolutely on the money. And like I was saying, it's almost like the celebrities who all go to those climate change galas and then fly around in their giant jets. Exactly. It it means nothing to them. They just think they're doing good. And it just highlights kind of where our culture's at. I don't even think most of them think they're doing good. They're taking advantage. Okay, they're Mm -hmm. donating a bunch of the cash. I don't think they're donating all the cash to charity, but a good amount of it. Fantastic. But someone's getting paid. And someone is getting promoted. They're getting more attention for all of this. So that equals money. And they're doing all of this because they want to fulfill their egos. They want to feel like they're good allies to whatever the social justice cause of the day is. This is stupid. Mm-hmm. And why in the hell are, are people watching this? No one would watch me box. I don't understand it. it, it this means no, I don't understand this. I am too old for this. It's such a waste of time and energy. You know, not, not, you, I, not you talking about it, them doing this. I want to be clear. Yeah, 
Sure. You know what, though? It, it, it isn't hurting anyone. I don't. I love it. It's a fun thing where I get to watch one of my favorite, you know, content creators online decide, you know, I'm going to do something different. Money goes to charity. It's a, it's a positive event, but it isn't fun. And while I won't be, you know, paying for this one, even if there are some creators in there that I like, because it has nothing to do with charity. It has nothing to do. And yes. that's kind of what it, it, what's been highlighted here. Well, obviously, at the back end of this is social justice. This is yeah. about obey. You have to obey some am- ambiguous group of elites, even in your pleasure, even in your leisure. You can't watch us. You can't be part of this. This is going back to elementary school. This is kids in the playground and you're not picking Timmy because Timmy sucks at dodgeball, and so no one wants him on their team. That's what this is. Mm-hmm. This is elementary school playground, and they're doing that with modern politics and our lives, entertainment and social media and politics. It's, it's sixth grade playgrounds. 